We're on section 9.6. Can you do that in black? 9.6, page 423, number 2. And what we've got now, what's the difference between this kind of question and the one we just did? What do you see up here that's different from the yeah, one that we just did? There are two what? Yeah, there are two. They're not numbers exactly. These are called Inequality. inequalities, right? That we They used to be called equations when this was an equal sign. Now that we're dealing with inequality signs, a system, actually a system of inequalities, and in a similar way as we, we were able to solve system of equations, now we can solve systems of inequalities. Okay, so how are we going to graph those? What do we do? Is it any different than lines? Y equals mx plus b, absolutely. So, as we were saying, uh, all we're going to do here is draw this arrow just to show that this is going to be moved over. Well, we're not changing it, we're just moving it over. Y is less than 3x. We notice that our slope is 3, and there is no b. Y is less than 3x, or y is less than 3x plus 0 the same thing. The 0, we don't put it there, but that's what we mean. b is equal to 0 because there's nothing there. Okay? There's nothing there. So our y-intercept is 0, our slope is 3. That's enough to graph it. Now we've got to check this out. x plus y is less than 4. In this case, subtract x on both sides. y is less than negative x plus 4. And we have negative 1 for the slope, because that's where it usually lives, right beside the x value. And our b is 4. We've got it in that position, just like we did when we had equations. Now we can graph these. So we'll draw a graph, and we'll graph them. How do we graph it? Let's take this line. What's our y-intercept, Lucas? Uh, no, that's our slope. Zero is our y-intercept, so zero, zero is the point we start at, in this case. And where do we go from there, Hazel? Our slope is three, which is the same thing as three over one. So where do we go? What's our rise and what's our run? Okay, Sandy? Three up. Three up and one over. Okay, so one, two, three up and one over and draw a line. Uh, but now, was it going to be a dotted line or a solid line for this one? Dotted. dotted line, good, because there's no equal sign under there. There's no little bar. So draw a dotted line right through there, and now even if you have pen, you can't go wrong. You don't have to erase anything to get a dotted line. Good stuff. That's our first line. Now, we have two inequalities. We've got a graph of both. So what do we do for this one? What's our y-intercept? Chris? One, negative one. Uh, y intercept? Four. Four, right, guys. You've got to get those straight. One, two, three, four up. And then your rise over run is? Okay, why down? Because it's negative, right. So down one and over one. Down one and over one. And now, is it a dotted line or a solid line? Dotted line because, again, this doesn't have the little bar under it. So we go ahead and dotted line right there. And now, we have to find, now the, the deal with this one, in previous questions, when we were looking for a solution, we were looking for what? When we were looking for solutions of lines, we were looking for what? The intersecting the point. Now, unfortunately, things aren't so simple anymore. Because remember, when we're looking for in, uh, solutions to inequalities, we're looking for whole shaded regions, a whole bunch of points that satisfy the inequality. And now we have two lines, we've got to look for two different sets of regions and see how they cross, and then we'll find the solution set. Because the solution to this system has to work for both this inequality and that inequality. So that's the trick. And it just means it's a little bit extra work. It's the same thing we did in the last section, 9.5, but it takes a little few extra moments to get it down. So first of all, what point are we going to pick? Does it matter which one we want to pick? As we said before, it's random. Who wants to pick it? Jake? Uh, three, two. Three, two. Good. It's a location of a coordinate point. Three, two. Let's test it. So we put in three for x and two for y. And let's see if it works. There it is on the graph. Let's try it, with, let's try it over here. Would you visitors like to say hi? Yes. We love visitors. Hi, everybody. There you go. Good. <laughs> okay, so we're going to substitute the point 3, 2 in there. Everybody write it down. There we go. Good. Is that true? Now put a little question mark above it. Don't forget to put the question mark above it, right? Because that means you're asking a question. Is 2 less than 
three times three, which is nine. Is that true? Yeah. yeah. Good, you found it. First try. Bingo. You got it. Who thought of that? Right here. Now we shade it. Was that you, Jake? All right, you get credit for it. It's online. You can show your parents you got it. Yeah. Here, I did it. I did it. All right, so which way do we shade this line? You want to try that one too, Jake? That's the way or that one? I think I'll stop on. Well, hold on a second. Why? You picked the point. It's right here. How do you know where? I said it's random. It can be either anywhere. Well, you can pick a point in quadrant one and then test it. If it's true, you shade it. If it's not, you don't. Yeah, exactly. But you initially take care of it. Initially, you. Right. Wait. Shade it to the left. How come? How do you come you shade it to the left? One, two, three. Now, this is tricky. So, whoever chose three, two, one, two, three, and one, two, actually, it's not there. It's actually here. That's a tricky point to choose. You know why? Because it's hard to tell whether it's on the right side of the point or the other. It's best to pick points that are definitely in one region or the other. Okay, I mean, sure, this one's okay. It's just close to being online, but you know, y is less than 3x. We gotta remember which point, which line is what. So this line here is y is less than negative x minus plus, plus four. You don't wanna get confused by that. And this line here is your y is less than 3x, okay? That's this one here. So the point we're looking for is 3, 2. It's definitely to the right of this line, okay? So we shade it to the right. Don't get confused by which line you're testing. All right? Now, we have to choose a point and decide which, which way we're going to shade this line here, the y equals negative x plus 4. So we have to test a point. Where, where are we going to pick it? It's got to be either this side of that or that side of that. Which one are we going to do? Yeah. Sure. Negative two. Three. Three. Good. A one, two, three. That's getting a little close, though. A little close for comfort. I don't like that. Negative two, five. Negative two, one is fine. No, five would be up here. It's a little too close for comfort. negative five. No, negative two, Oh, that would have might be. Yeah, okay. Well, let's do negative two and one. Label it. Negative two and one. All right. Right, so we've gone ahead, we've put there, our point is negative two, one. So our x coordinates negative two, and this is negative x, so it's negative, negative two. And now our y coordinates one, we put it in, we've got one less than negative, negative two, which is positive two plus four. One is less than six, don't forget, Katie, to put the question mark. There you go. We don't know it's true until the very end, okay? It's a question mark until the end when we find out it's true. Well, we, everything we've been doing today is true. Uh, now, what do we do for shading? Shade down, we shade down. Let's do it in a different color. We'll do it in red. Okay? Shade down. We shade to include it, Melissa, because because why? Amanda, how come we shade it down? Because it's true. That point satisfies, this is what we say, that point satisfies the inequality. Okay? Now, we've gone ahead and we've figured out that this area to the right of y is less than 3x is shaded in green, and we found out that the area under y is less than negative x plus 4 is in red. Those are possible solutions. Now, what we said at the beginning, though, is that we need to find the points that satisfy both of the inequalities at the same time. In other words, they both have to satisfy y is less than 3x and x plus y is less than four. So which area is that gonna be? Yes. Okay. Where they both cross, right here. I'm just gonna shade it more, just so that you realize that this whole area there, where they both happen to cross, there's solutions for both, <laughs> all right? That's our solution area, right there. Solutions are gonna be in this area here. Okay? All there. All in here. All the way along. Okay. You get it? <laughs> Hooray! Woohoo! Period four! Boo! Woo! That's the move. <laughs>